Okay, we're going to start our peacock today. Um, the first thing you, that you want to do for the peacock is to find the center of the page. So you want to look at the top, go down vertically, divide this in half, top to bottom, and put a little dot there. And then from side to side. And then I'm just eyeballing it. It doesn't have to be perfectly divided with a ruler, just so they have the ballpark figure. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just jump up a little bit diagonal from the center point. From the center point, I'm just going to put a little circle, and I'm going to color that little circle in. And that's going to be the pupil of the eye. I like to start with the eye so that I can uh, place it in the best place possible for my composition. And from there, I'm going to put lots of detail on this eye. And this eye is going to be a little bit exaggerated, a little bit bigger than normal on this creature, on this peacock. But I like to exaggerate so that we make importance to that eye. So I'm going to go ahead and make a circle now around the eye, just carefully and slowly around the eye. And then I'm going to form uh, the top lid or top design of the eye. I'm going to just place a, a line, and it's going to be kind of diagonal coming down. So diagonal coming down, and then I'm just going to give it a little bit of thicker color here. I'm just going to make it a little thick band right in here. And this is just adding some darker feathers around the top of the eye. Now this is actually the eye here, right in this area here. The, 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 this is just dark feathers, but it kind of forms this eye shape here. And then around this, I'm going to come up a little bit and then down around. And this is just lighter color feathers here and then I'm going to make it point, connect to a point. From there, I'm just going to bring it down again. And again, this is a lighter color feather. This is not his lids. This is just a coloration around the peacock. And from here, I'm going to make a diagonal line. And this is going to form the beak in here. I'm going to come up right past this eye, and I'm just going to go up and back, up and back down. This is forming, now if you want to color that in, you can black. This is forming the nos the little air vent hole inside the beak. And I'm going to make the beak a little bit curved at the bottom, just slightly. So this has formed now our beak. From this top area where we had our eye design and the, feather, the lighter color feathers here, I'm going to just make a diagonal line here, a very short diagonal line. And then I'm going to connect this. And as I bring it to the tip, it's going to meet the tip right in here to form a curve. So it goes thicker to very thin at the tip. And I'm going to leave, I'm not going to start my line here at the tip when I'm going to form the bottom beak, but I'm going to come right before that and I'm going to bring my line not up to the eye, but I'm going to kind of bring it over this way. And so I'm going to just drop a line down here, a very short line, and then I'm going to bring it to the beak, but not to the tip. Bring it to the beak. So this forms this kind of a, um, a, a smaller beak bill on the bottom and then a, t a bigger one at the top. From here, above the eye, I'm going to do a very short horizontal line. And then I'm going to connect from the beak. I'm going to slightly go up a bit, and then I'm going to curve to connect to the top of the head. From here, I'm going to go straight down. And then from here, I'm going to go diagonally, just a small diagonal over. And this is going to form, this kind of forms the shape around the head. And then I'm going to bring this line down to a slight curve. And then I'm curving round, right in here. Curve round. And then on this side, I'm going to come around, curve round curve round, and then I'm bringing it circular here. And actually, I went right off my page down in here, right here. If you have more room, you can finish this and add legs. From here, I'm going to add about five to six lines coming up, and then I'm going to add little kind of freeform pom-pom shapes on top. This is just designs on top of the bird's head, right in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of the back here. This is going to be the front chest. And then the back of his body comes out 
it'll come off his feather areas here and then I'm, I'm going to bring two lines off so curve out curve out and then I'm just going to bring this down to the body down to the body so this is actually his back of his body behind him this is his chest his body and then this is the starting of the feathers and then from here on out once now that we have the body all built and drawn in we can go ahead and do our feathers and these feathers are going to radiate out from our center and radiate out from a center point coming around here so I would bring it down and pretend that this is well if we start with our center line where we had it this dot here we can radiate out from our center behind the peacock and that's where we can do our center lines right in here and so wherever you're going to have your peacock feathers radiate out radiate out from here and I'm doing it invisible behind and then in here you can get smaller smaller and then radiate from the center out just like you would draw a straight line radiate out from the center center up center up center up and then you can form your peacock designs your eyes and your peacock right around in here and you can place them where you'd like and decorate it however you want and I would randomly place them I would not put them in perfect rows I would kind of randomly pl place, place your peacock circle peacock peacock and then bring in your feathers you can do feather lines around it and you can do this with paint pencil if you want to randomly put in your your feathers all first, your peacock eyes right in here, and then work up your your feathers with another color, that's what I would do. So and just go right with direct marker. I wouldn't do it all with the black marker. But this is how you would then design your peacock. Stick another one in, and this is where all your feathers would go. Here, your feather eye would end here. here. You can end an eye here, and then your feathers around it. Eye and feathers around and then you just continue building this up here's your eyes your peacock eyes you can ma even make the peacock eyes really big if you want to for your patterns or for colors and then add just a few of these feather lines and just fill in fill in fill in until you have your whole thing done and that's your peacock